Hello everybody, this has got a transformable I have today. Something I'm very excited about. A Battle Styles pre-release kit. Now this is this is in my possession purely by chance and luck. Um sometime last week. Or wait, let me rephrase. This is I'm recording this the week before. Uh Battle Styles releases, and a few days ago, I had essentially looked online trying to find what the release date was, accidentally found a Pokemon.com article about how some stores would be getting these early, or not early, I guess, but would be selling these, uh, presumably because they, don't, they can't do pre-releases as events, they're allowing them to just sell the boxes, uh, so, so I was just thinking, hmm. There's this place near, near me that has an online store and typically would be doing pre-releases. Would they have these? Lo and behold, found it on their website and was able to buy one. And I'm ecstatic. This is literally my first pre-release kit for a new set. Like, actually, like, like before it releases in forever. I could not tell you my last pre-release pre-release kit <laughs> i mean I've, i know i've opened a few sort of recently uh but those are like rebel clash sword and shield maybe darkness ablaze this is the first like and those were uh after release as well so this is my first pre-release pre-release kit hopefully that makes sense <laughs> so i'm excited for this uh we get a random promo it's one of four i don't know what the promos are there's uh four packs a code card which I'm going to be trying to keep because I like getting these promo codes myself. Or promo cards, not promo codes. But this is a brand new set. Most everything coming out of the packs here is going to be new. And I'm just excited to see this set myself because I don't really... I'm not familiar with it at all. I know there's a like single strike and rapid strike cards. Obviously, this is heavily centered around Urshifu. But I, I don't really know much about what they've put in this set. I'm going to struggle opening this, apparently. <laughs> there we go. All right. Sometimes the hardest thing is just getting that first hole in the plastic. There we go. So before we get this open, though, in the background, we have Shark Gun and Bulbasaur, as always. This guy right here is Knockout. He is from the... Uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen toy line. So that would be the second Transformers live action movie. So there it is without the little cover. Let's focus on this finally. So yeah, there we go. We got Urshifu and Urshifu. Single Strike and Rapid Strike. I don't know which is which. I'm guessing that might be Rapid Strike. That's Single Strike. Maybe. I don't remember which form's which. But on the inside... Looks like we have Houndoom as the promo. First of all, you get this little pamphlet, which is nice, like little building tips and tricks for your pre-release. And on the back, oh! Well, that's a surprise. There's a set list on the back. Does not include the Seeker Rares, surprisingly. Because I know they do that with the uh, Elite Trainer boxes. But that is interesting. Very interesting. That's, a fr that's the first time I've seen a set list for with the pre-release decks. Or pre-release kits. I like that. But the fact that it doesn't actually include every single card like the Elite Trainer box guide does. Kind of makes it not... Useful, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so as mentioned, there's a code card, but I like getting the promos myself, so I apologize. But let's look at this Houndoom promo. Single strike. So that's the uh, gimmick for the set, essentially. And that is some sick-looking artwork. That looks very nice. That is Sword and Shield number 90. Yeah, it just looks really, really good. 
All right, and so for the, you also get an assortment of cards to help like make an actual deck with whatever you would get in the packs. Uh, they don't have to be just from Battle Styles. You could get an assortment of different trainers or whatever. Uh, I think it's usually just the trainers that are from various other sets. Like the Pokemon are typically from the set you're opening. Uh, but here we have a Level Ball making a return. I believe that's from the actual set. Although, again, I'm not familiar. I assume I don't recognize I don't recognize this level ball artwork. I don't recognize the set symbol. I'm gonna assume that's the one for battle styles. <laughs> we have Hop from Sword and Shield, Opal, Dan. As you can see, there's an assortment of different sets just here. We have a Drampa. I don't know if that's a hollow normally. Could be a uh, pre-release exclusive version. I'm not sure. We have Cherubi. Looking so happy. Cherub. Tapu Bulu. I would be surprised if that's not a hollow normally. <laughs> now we got two of it. We have Bruno. Dan. Alistair. Single Strike Energy. Times two. Hound Hour. So you can use the Hound Doom in your pre release deck. And then the set version, I assume. And two of that. Stone Journer, single strike. I guess this is just purely a deck based around the single strike style. <laughs> so yeah, very nice. These are literally my first cards of the new set. And it, I like the look of it with just this so far. But we have four packs. Is it one of each artwork? Yeah, I think it's one of each artwork. So you have Empoleon and Tyranitar. And then the two different Urshifus. So let's go in this order. Uh, first, let's put all this together. Put it back in the back. Right there. And let us open the first packs of Battle Styles. I really can't stress how happy I was to see this was uh, available at my local, like, card shop online store. Uh, but there's a code. Pause and take it if you want it. I believe they let you redeem codes early, but you won't be able to open it until the official release date. I think that's how they do it now. So here we have a Sizzlipede with that, like, clay figure looking artwork which I really like. I like all the cards that look like that. Uh, Glamiao, Galarian Slowpoke, Yamper, Murkrow, Cacturn, getting swept out to sea. My apologies, I yawned. Uh, level Ball, and Single Strike Energy. Kind of unfortunate we just got two uncommons that literally came in the pre-release kit. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but it's fine. Reverse. Corinna's Focus. A Rapid Strike Trainer, apparently. It's a very nice uncommon trainer. The Rare. Ooh. Literal first pack magic. Rapid Strike Urshifu B. I do believe there's a bunch of different ones in the set. <laughs> like a bunch of different, like, Urshifu between the two styles, even. Um, this is probably just one of them. But that looks nice. I'm really happy we at least pulled an Ultra Air in the first opening. That's a good sign. Hopefully that this set's going to treat me well. Because I really like the look of it. Four and two again because of the card I do not name. We have a Bronzor. Tepig with the big nine in the back there. Pachirisu. Mianfu. Voltoy. Cheryl. Bisharp. And Weepin' Bell. Reverse. Ooh. He's a Shinx. It's a nice uncommon... Or not uncommon, common reverse, which 
What is Shinx is doing a weird little acrobatic act? <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how to feel about that. I just that that seems that's very very weird. <laughs> uh the rare. Ooh. An Entei Hollow? Definitely a card I didn't even know was in the set. That is a very nice looking artwork too. Very, very nice. So we have an Ultra Air and a Hollow. I am too tired to be doing this apparently. Uh, we have two more packs though. If we get anything else, I'll be shocked, but if we don't, it's perfectly fine because we had a couple awesome pulls already. And for it. Like, this is a pretty good pre release kit. We have a Frillish, Blip Bug, Roly Coly, Shimako, Onyx, Grumpig, with some very interesting artwork. It reminds me of something, like another Pokemon artwork, and I cannot remember what I think it reminds me of. It's interesting artwork. <laughs> Energy Recycler and Girder. Reverse. Esper. Another common one. The Rare. Lurantis. Non hollow. But again, that is fine. Final pack. Tyrantar work. And will we have last pack magic? Final code. There you go. Again, feel free to tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe you can redeem the codes early. They just won't let you open the packs until the release date. We have Ponyard, Houndour, Shinx, Gligar, Spoink, looking very happy. <laughs> Morpeko, which I believe is the first dark type Morpeko card, because they keep making it with the electric type, like normal, non hangry version. <laughs> I think that's the first of that one, or at least that version of them. Uh, Durant and Single Strike Style Mustard. So there's two different mustards, I believe. That one is the Single Strike version. Oh, oh whatever. Uh, reverse. Urn of Vitality. Can't, it doesn't look like it. I was going to say, I, I don't have a problem with random item trainer cards if they make it Pokemon themed. And I see nothing Pokemon about this. Like, what does this actually have to do with Pokemon? Like, was this in the games? I don't remember it. There's no Pokeballs or... Pokemon symbols or anything on it. It's just an urn of vitality, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it doesn't have a golden foot trainer. I really hope not. Uh, just, I, I, I don't like these kind of trainer cards. Just, I don't know, like, make it Pokemon themed if you have to do stuff like that. That's all I ask. <laughs> That's all I ask. Uh, final rare. Phalanx. 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce I'm not sure what the pronunciation is. I'm sure I'm I'm positive one is it's definitely like it's definitely one correct one, and I'm really messing up by even thinking it's the other one. But I'm not the most intelligent when it comes to po newer Pokemon pronunciations. <laughs> like, not in the slightest. Like, like, I know I'm bad with some. Like, I know it's Arceus, but I will say it Arceus. 
more off, like more than likely. Uh, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, I still don't know which it is. I still actually don't know which it is. Like I'll sw I'll say both. I don't know which is correct. And then I'm also the kind of person that will get extremely annoyed when someone goes Rattata <laughs> because I know it's Rattata because because I watched the original anime and just I've heard Rattata go Rattata <laughs> and I know it's Rattata unless they have the Pokemon not pronounce its own name correctly, which I don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm, I, I know I'm very weird when it comes to pronunciations. Uh, but that is it for the pre-release kit opening. However, I have another two packs. Uh, I don't know why I have these two packs. <laughs> so... Essentially, these two came with the pre-release kit. I only ordered the pre-release kit. I, I checked the website of the store I bought it from. They make, mo they make no mention of extra packs being included. So, my only guess is because they're not doing pre-releases, they're treating the purchases of these like a pre-release purchase. And these are essentially like the packs I would get after completing the event. That is my only guess. But all it means is I have two extra packs and I'm stoked. <laughs> so two more opportunities for some more stuff. And we have... A Cacnea to go with the Cacturn. Spoink, Rolly Gully, Frillish, Esper, Level Ball, Spoopa, and Gliscor. Reverse. Esper. Really? I'm five packs into the set. <laughs> five packs, and I have a duplicated reverse holo already. How about that luck? I I, ooh, I just completely met, mixed up all the cards here. <laughs> Yeah, I completely messed messed up the cards here. I don't know what... I think, yeah, like that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fixed it. So reverse was Esper. The rare is a Salazzle. non hollow. Second pack. Actual final pack for this opening. I would like to see another holo at least. Like, it would be something nice for, like, these two random packs to have had something in them. I mean, as long as we get, like, a new rare. Or even just an actual new reverse holo, I guess I have to say. <laughs> we have a Tepig, Glamiao, Silicobra, Frillish, Houndour. Single Strike, Scroll of Scorn. Once again, don't remember this being a thing in the games. And I don't see anything Pokemon about it. It's just a chained up scroll. Something out of Naruto. <laughs> uh, and we have a bit sharp. Oh, and another single strike energy. Reverse. Stone Jorah, which we had from the... Uh, Oh, that we didn't pull a. Oh, it's a rare. That's why. <laughs> uh, we got we got the regular version of this from the pre-release kit, a uh, little supplement deck. Now we have the reverse version of it. Final rare. Galarian Slowbro. Whose arm is being eaten and poisoned, by the shell. And Slowbro's just like, oh, hello there. <laughs> Like, 
what are you doing here? <laughs> it's just, uh, all right, so this is a fantastic pre-release kit opening. The only, only downside was the duplicated, <laughs> somehow duplicated uh, Esper Reverse situation. That is unfortunate. That's like five packs in the set. We have a duplicate reverse. I don't even want to know the odds. Just clearly that wasn't in my favor. <laughs> uh, but all in all from the pre-release kit, we got this awesome Houndoom promo. Looking beastly. We also pulled a hollow Entei. As I yawn again. And we did get an Ultra Rare pull with the Rapid Strike Urshifu B. So all in all, fantastic out of six packs and fantastic for just four of the pre-release kit. I'm very happy. Uh, not just because I get to open a new set early, but just obviously because we got some good stuff from this early. Uh, but that is it for this opening actually now <laughs> so thank you all very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this opening stay tuned for more of course uh i know i have a booster box of the set pre-ordered so that's not going to ship until the actual release date just based on how uh troll and toad has done it in the past so i would i would say hopefully hopefully the weekend after the set officially releases. So not the weekend for release, but the one after that is when I should have a booster box opening. Uh, that's what I'm going to guess. Uh, at the very least, around there. In the meantime, that's it for this opening, though. So thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this opening, even if it took too long for a pre release get opening. I appreciate it if you watch the whole thing. Stay tuned for more, though. Have a great day.